Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we will be attempting to smooth the print after we apply liquid green stuff on it. I was actually reading on forums that after the application of liquid green stuff, you can actually smooth it out completely with just rubbing alcohol. And I was really curious and wanted to test it out today and see if it works. We'll quickly apply the liquid green stuff and then let it dry. After it dries, we'll compare it with the original before I apply the alcohol on it. Let's see, you can see that most of the layer lines are masked already. There are some that are still visible, but it's not too obvious. Details are still there. Not much of a difference between the one that wasn't post-processed with liquid green stuff. The details are still um, very visible, I would say. Anyway, without further ado, let's try smoothing it out with rubbing alcohol. It looks like it's working, but we won't know how it looks until it dries. The more I rub the alcohol onto the print, it looks like it's actually taking the liquid green stuff off. Now that it's dry, we'll take a look at it. It looks like the parts smoothed a bit, but I don't really see a huge difference. I may need multiple coats of liquid green stuff and then maybe it'll smooth nicely or something. I'm not too sure at this point. Um, the other model that I had earlier, I applied liquid green stuff on it and then I also sprayed a coat of primer on it. I wanted to compare the difference and also show what it looked like after a coat of primer. After the primer, the model does look a lot smoother compared to just the liquid green stuff model. It seems like some details were blurred, but I would say it still looks pretty good. Well, there we have it. We tried using alcohol to smooth out the print after applying a coat of liquid green stuff, but it doesn't look like it did very much to the print. I mean, it seems like it did smooth out the print a bit, but just not uh, too big of a difference. On the other hand, I would say using liquid green stuff with primer works pretty well though. The details are a bit blurred out, but it's pretty smooth. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering You. The platform has a lot of teaching resources like 3D printing courses, Steam challenges, and CAD tutorials. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, and if you did not, then a thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments we'd like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.